when you film a whole video with a scrunchie on your wrist. Damn it. Hey everyone, it's Michelle and today I'm doing a Will I Buy It? The Will I Buy It was created by Samantha March. I will link her channel below. I'll be reading about the new releases via the Trend Mood 1 Instagram page. I will also link that below. It doesn't look like there's too many new releases, so let's just get into it. ColourPop just released some new blush and highlight sticks. So cream blushes and highlights. They retail for $8 a piece and it looks like they've got a lot of shades available. I'm really not that into cream products. I want to be and I'd love to get better at them, but for now I'm going to pass until I maybe learn how to use them. Although $8 isn't a bad starting price on learning how to use something, I'm, I'm going to pass for now. Melt Cosmetics is releasing the Impulse Palette, I believe it's called. It's 18 shades. This honestly looks like old school Urban Decay or something. I'm really not into the color story. It does look nice. Um, I really like the green shades, but they've already got the Gemini palette and the Smoke Sessions, Smoke, Sh Smoke Sessions palette, which have lovely greens in them. I don't need this palette just for the greens. I'm also not a fan of the layout. I don't like how there's, you know, half the shades on this side, half on this side. So I'm going to be passing this one as well. Jouer Cosmetics is releasing their tan line collections. There's a really pretty palette involved. It's retailing for $35, I believe. There's a beautiful blush duo that's retailing for $30. Some glosses. This collection looks gorgeous. Uh, and really for Jouer, $35 is a nice price point for the palette. $30 for the blush duos. Normal, very high, but normal. I'm gonna pass on the whole collection. It just, it's nothing I need, and while the colors of that palette are really pretty, I'm sure I could dupe it in my own collection, so I will not be getting anything from this collection. There's that whole Ipsy Tetris collab, which is so confusing to me. I mean, Tetris is cool. Does anyone have any, like, die-hard obsession with Tetris? I don't really know. Um, it's fine. The brush handles are cute. The brushes look kind of cheap, though. It looks like they just picked a stock brush and slapped a cool handle on it. They missed opportunity of not creating like the shades and the shape of block. I don't know. I'm passing on the whole thing. There is a Lion King collection coming out from Sir John Official and Luminous Cosmetics. I've never heard of them. I think it's collaboration. The color story is kind of boring on the palette. However, I do think it is true to the Lion King. So I've got to give them that. So there's the Kingdom Sculpting palette. Can't wait to be Queen eyeshadow palette. Be Brave Matte Lipsticks, Be Prepared Liquid Lipsticks, that's cool. There's going to be Lip Balms and then a Circle of Life Highlighter, which is a pretty cute name. I don't know about this one yet. I'm definitely not getting the palette. I do want to see swatches of the highlighter, though, because I do love Disney. It'd be nice to own something from the collection, but it's probably going to be too deep for me with my luck, so I probably won't be getting anything, but I am excited to see more about it. Tarte's releasing a new setting spray called Stay Spray. Retails for $25, it claims to be 16 hour wear. You guys know that I'm just such a sucker for the Morphe Continuous Mist Setting Spray, that if anything doesn't have that fine of a mist, I'm not really interested, so maybe I'll spray it in the store to see how fine it is, but for now, I'm definitely passing. Benefit Cosmetics is adding to their Hello Happy line. They're coming out with a powder foundation. They're coming out with 12 shades, which shade range has never been Benefit's strong suit, so that's no surprise there. Um, I'm not into powder foundation, so I'll be skipping this one. I'm not sure how much it retails for. If I find that, I'll put it on the screen somewhere, but yeah, this just doesn't intrigue me at all. I'm so excited for this one. Dominique Cosmetics just announced their Rustic Glam palette. It looks gorgeous. I have her other three palettes that she's come out with, and they're by far some of my favorites in my collection, so you know I'll be scooping this one up. I don't see that they announced the price. I think it'll be $45 if I had to guess, but I'm not really sure. Looks like a nice blend of mattes, some pretty shimmers, so yes, I will be getting this one. A new brand just dropped at Target. It's called Makeup Obsession. Looks like they've got concealers, highlighters, lip products. I'm very intrigued. I do like to check out new brands just to see what's out there. I'm not gonna run out and get anything. Hopefully there'll be some reviews going up soon on it so I can kind of get a feel for it if it's anything I would want, but I'm intrigued for sure. Urban Decay is coming out with a new foundation called Stay Naked. It's 50 shades for $39. The Naked Concealer is probably one of my least favorite concealers I've ever used, so I'm not really sure that I'm gonna run out and pick this foundation up. It's not something I'm very excited about, so again, it's something I'll look at reviews on, but I'll probably pass on that one too. Like I suspected, that's pretty much it for this week. 
which is good because I've been spending way too much money lately. I'd love to know in the comments below what you're excited about, what you plan on picking up, and what you're definitely passing on. Please let me know. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.